In today's video, I'm going to show you how I dodge and burn fast in Photoshop. If I say fast, I mean fast. Fast. So this video is going to be fast. Well, my name is Akordidi and welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. This video is going to help you get that 3D look out of your image where you get to separate your subjects from the background. And it's also going to help you get that shiny skin tones and skin textures out of your image. Without further ado, let's jump straight into Photoshop and start editing. But before that, subscribe 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 all right so we have our image already loaded up in here in photoshop for us so um i've already edited everything i've done my frequency separation as you can see and then i've whitened the eyes yeah everything is looking nice so the only thing that is remaining is the dodging and burning i already did one already but because of the tutorial we're gonna create it again from scratch all right so first of all we're going to come here to the adjustment layer and then create a curves adjustment layer so we're going to rename this to dodge like this and then we're going to come here and then just create a handle over here and then just drag it up like this yeah i think this is okay so we're going to come here to the blend mode and then change it to luminosity so as you can see our image is looking white like that yeah so what we're going to do next is we're going to come to the adjustment layer and then double click it to bring up the blend if adjustments so we're going to keep this blend if over here at gray so what we're going to do now is we're going to drag the left handles to the right like this so you're going to drag it so you start seeing the effects happening on the image so we're going to now hold press and hold alt click on this handle over here to split it or to divide it then you're going to drag split them like this until the effect starts to even out starts to blend into our image like you can see so we're gonna drag the side as well and make sure everything is blending in perfectly onto our image all right so i normally love to keep my image looking as natural as possible so I think this is okay for me so i'm going to just come here and then select okay to accept the changes that i've made so i'm going to zoom out and i'm going to check the before and after so this is the before this is the after this is the before and the after as you can see our dodge effect is happening nicely on the image all right so we're going to create the burn effect now so we're going to use the same procedure we're just going to come here and it creates a new curves adjustment layer this time around instead of dragging it upwards we're going to drag it down like this as you can see our image is looking much darker i'm going to close this and then we're going to change this rename it to burn like that so the same procedure again we're going to double click to bring up the blend if handles that's where we're going to use to create our lovely effects on our image so instead of dragging the left handles to the um to the right side we're going to drag the right side to the left side rather so we're going to drag it like this until you start seeing the effects happening on the image so as you can see the dark sides of the image are looking much darker so we're going to hold alt first to split it and then we're just going to drag it back and forth like we did in the first one to blend our effects into our image so we're going to drag it like this as you can see this side is looking a little bit sharper so we're going to drag out the effects just for it to blend into our image more and then for it to look more natural yeah it's as simple as that not that complicated or difficult yeah so if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet kindly subscribe and don't forget to like this video as well it helps me a lot All right so um i'm gonna accept the changes by pressing ok yeah now let's check the before and after so this is the before 
and there's the after. And this is the before for the burn, uh, for the dodge. And there's the after, as you can see, our image is looking more punchier and it has added more dynamic to our image for us. So if you feel like the effect is too much, you can just come here and then just drag and decrease the opacity a little bit like this. And let me see the burn as well. Yeah, so I'm going to just decrease the opacity a little bit. Yeah, so our image is now looking more natural. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put this tool into a group. So I'm going to hold shifts and then press them together and control G to put them into a group. Go, double click and I just name it dodge and burn D and G like this. What I want to do now is I want the effect to only appear on her face and then not on the whole image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press, I'm going to put a layer mask onto this group like this and I'm going to press and hold control and then I to invert it. So now I'm going to select the brush tool, increase the size a little bit and then I'm just going to brush over her face. Always make sure your foreground color is on white. If it's on black, the effect is not going to appear when you're brushing. So always make sure it's on white and then the layer mask over here will be dark all right so we're just gonna brush over her face in the sides where we want this effect to appear so now let's check the before and after so this is the before and this is the after as you can see our image is popping and then popping out of the background like I said earlier. So this is how you dodge and burn the fastest way and then very easy. As you can see, we didn't do much, just masking and then just dragging things up and down just to get this effect. All right, thank you so much for watching. If you learned anything from this video, kindly hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe as well. See you guys in the next one. Bye, bye.